I'm Julian. I grew up in the South and escaped anxiety and fear by exploring the soul food and global cooking that beats through the heartland. I'm Farah. As a teenager, I moved from Syria to Texas and healed my broken heart by baking baklava with others. Together, we'll introduce you to the immigrant chefs who nourish the world one table at a time. It is Spotlight Sunday, and today I'm speaking with Julian Ryman and Farah Al-Shamas, who are producing a show called Talk With Your Mouthful. Julian and Farah, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Tell me what this show is about. This show is a reflection of our friendship. We both have had different journeys that allowed us to make friends with food after having made enemies with it for a long time growing up. And we bonded over food, but we also realized that despite all of our differences, we found that our stories are so similar in so many ways. And that's when it clicked that, wait, so what if different people could actually get along by means of eating together? Um, and I think that's how it started. Uh, we came up with this idea to produce this docu-series where... Half of it is we go to immigrant-owned restaurants, immigrant chefs, and we profile them and their, their favorite uh, recipes and how they've built their business and really focus on how, like, these people who have sort of lost a home or have left a home and sort of created a new one have created this space that's, you know, amazing at uh, making everyone feel like they've, they're at home. And so we would profile these immigrant chefs, and then we would also host roundtable discussions at these restaurants. Um, so we would bring in different people from the surrounding community, people who are different from each other, not just different uh, racially or um, or, uh, or socioeconomically, but also different politically. So let's jump right in and talk about the pilot episode that you guys already filmed. Tell me which city was it filmed in, what food did you eat, and what did you learn from the chef and the people who were sitting at your table? This amazing uh, gentleman by the name of Abdul Salam, um, and he is an Ethiopian refugee, and he runs Oasis Gym at Juice Bar. We connected with him, we connected with uh, a really cool filmmaker that you definitely know, Emma, Kevin, too. We wanted to get five people who were super different from each other that um, didn't really know each other, so we called in a couple friends and a couple friends of friends. We shot Abdi at his smoothie bar. We got behind the table, behind the scenes of how he makes all his smoothies and how he makes his dishes, and then he invited us into his apartment, and um, we all had a, a lunch cooked by Abdi uh, and hosted by Abdi there. The one thing that I think what, what most stuck in my mind is that Kevin actually, after we shot the episode, he thought everybody were friends. He didn't, it didn't like really click with him that they were strangers. And afterwards he was like, wait, so you all just met? Like, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> so that was one beautiful thing and it tells you a lot about what happened during the discussion. What impact do you think the show will have on people and what do you hope that people who are watching will take away from this? Our, our ultimate goal uh, is to have people watch this and be like, wait a second, I have a couple people that I've never really talked to, but like I, I hang out around, and there's a cool immigrant restaurant down the block I've never been to. Let me just go over there and talk to people. Yeah, I think the most important thing is to get different people to talk to each other. Especially now with the coronavirus, when so many restaurants around the world are impacted, it's important to understand the value of food and community and coming together. Yeah. How yeah. else has the coronavirus impacted your spark and creativity for this project? It's reaffirmed our purpose and our, our, our mission to sort of highlight these people and, and give them a microphone and a platform to, to talk about their, their businesses. Now is like a better time than ever uh, to, to eat that amazing food, support those amazing people. Love it. So check out their Kickstarter. Julian, Farah, thank you so much for speaking with me for, and for helping make the world a better place through food. I really appreciate it, and I'm sure our viewers do too. Thank you so much. And until next time, I'm Emma Barnett, and this is Next Gen News.